Now indeed if we look at the table of the, what's happened here now we can see that the intervals each interval is of about 7.66 in length but in doing that the number of observations now are not equal so it depends on what you want really there's no right or wrong we can add labels to this just by using the labels command so here you go I put in labels table table 3 sorry there you go okay finally I want to go back to this one here I want to show you now how did I get approximately these cutoff values so that they're about equal numbers basically I'm looking for the quantiles first step I look at a summary because I want the minimum and maximum values of my variable so no minimums 0 maximum is 23 so that gives me a lower bound and upper bound on my cutoff values. Next I can use the quantile command to cut it up into three equally sized pieces. So the command to do it is quantile followed by the variable name and then here it's telling us to cut three equally spaced uh, intervals. Uh, not intervals. Um, cut the data into three equally spaced so that the number of observations is about the same. Now this thing here may be written alternatively concatenate at zero to a third, third to two thirds, two thirds to a third, two thirds to three thirds, which is uh, three over three, which is one, sorry. Okay, and then this tells us the intervals. meaning that from this 0 to about 4.67 about 33% of the observations fall in there 4.67 to about 14.67 next 33% and that to that next 33% comes to 100% now since we have a sample size of 20 with 20 divided by 3 we expect 20 divided by 3 we expect about 6 to 7 or so observations in each group. Notice that you won't get exactly 6.667 in each group because the numbers are whole numbers we're dealing with. So now I'm going to kind of cut it using the quantiles. Cut command variable and now by the quantile. Note that instead of typing this G here I could type the entire quantile expression directly into here. This looks much shorter, be easier to understand. Then we look at the table of it. So 0 to 4.67, da da da, as I said, 3, 6, 7. If we want to do it with labels, we just append a cut with the labels command as before. So there you go. Add this to it. Now instead of these things, we get the labels. So are we happy with that? Well, the answer is no, because using the sample size was 20, wasn't it? You add up these numbers, the 16. So 4 have been lost. Why has 4 been lost? 4 has been lost because if we look at the effort, the minimum value is 0. Here, the way it's cut it using the quantile command, this mathematical symbol, round bracket for number, two numbers, and then the square bracket means if the number falls greater than this 0 and less than or equal to 4.67. That's going to be greater than 0. So if it's 0, it's not going to be counted, and that's the problem. So what you do is now you manually do the cutoff values. So we could select a number which is less than 0, any number less than 0 to 4.67, then 4.67 to 14.7 and so on. And that is basically how I get right at the beginning I showed you this. So instead of 0 I set it to minus 1. And now that figure down here, 3, has gone up to 7. That's where the four lost digits had disappeared to. So it's reappeared. In other words, when using the quantile command be careful. Just to check what your minimum value is 
um, if there's a zero in there then just adjust it right well um, so that's the end of the tutorial on creating factor otherwise known as categorical variables from a continuous or scale variable